What up, G Life fams? Your boy MC Shadow coming at you with another video. You know what I mean? Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, check out the playlist, all that good stuff. Now, what I wanted to talk about was actually uh, about a video that I seen yesterday. Um, Sunny Boy, uh, go check him out. The Streets Ain't Loyal, the Sunny Boy uh, Costa Show uh, on YouTube. Go subscribe to him. You know what I mean? Uh, Firme Camarada. Uh, he brought up something interesting, and uh, it relates to to what I wanted to speak on. Uh, he's, he was talking about um, how people view, like, the city where he's from, you know, like Burbank and, and stuff like that. And how other fools think, you know, about their area and stuff like that. And the reason why it's funny is because uh, I see and I get and I get that a lot in a lot of my videos. Um, you know what I mean? Um, it's, especially the one that I did about, like, the northern one. Uh, there was a few comments on there that um, I could tell... I could tell where people are coming from just by the comments that they write. You know what I mean? Uh, like, out of everything that was said, uh, they just grabbed this. Like, this is the only thing that they, they concentrated on and focused on. So, that already lets me know uh, what kind of person they are. You know, their character. Uh, and one thing that people tend to do, and they do this a lot. And if you're a real one, you know that you shouldn't be doing this. Is... Thinking that your area is crazier than another person's area or thinking that somebody is is trying to say that this area is crazier than that area. No area is crazier than no other area. Yeah, sure, some crime rates are higher in other cities than in others. Um, you know, stuff does pop off more over here than over there. But at the end of the day, guess what? The areas are the same. The bullets that they be shooting in Northern California and the bullets that they shoot in Huntington Beach... The bullets that they shoot in Glendale, the bullets they shoot in Compton, the bullets they shoot in Watts, guess what? They're all the same. You know what I mean? And as far as I know, in these areas, uh, in your city, you don't have spikes that come out of the ground or, 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 or it rains fire or, or you have dragons and lions roaming around. So unless you have all of that, then yes, your area is a lot more deadlier. And if not, then... I mean, come on now. Um, one thing that people have to understand is that, like he said, we all go to the same penitentiaries, juvenile hall systems. Uh, 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 the same as they have gang-related murders over there, they have gang-related murders over there. Um, same reason fools get shot over here, they get shot over there. Um, you get you get what I'm trying to say? Like, you have lifers, they have lifers. You have lost homies, they have lost homies. I mean, who are we trying to kid here? You know, there's crazy motherfuckers on both sides. And and homies have gotten popped from both sides. There's no winners here. You know, people over here trying to act like they're winners. Um, you know, we both take the L's at the end of the day. Um, that can only be real, homie. Now, you know what I'm saying? Because, um, you know, a lot of people be like, they try to make it seem like their area is more crazy. Or like, or you have to be from this certain area. I have homies. Uh, that they didn't grow up in my neighborhood and they're from my neighborhood. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have to be from that damn area to represent that area. It's what it symbolizes at the end of the day. Uh, people that talk like that, I it already lets me know that they don't have... They're not from the streets. Like, they, they maybe know somebody that's from the streets or watch the video or maybe they're young or, you know, but something like that. But they haven't really been in the field uh, or... They are from a neighborhood, but they don't go kick it with their homies because they clearly don't know what be what be going on. You know what I mean? Um, like, like for example, I could say f my enemies because that's how I feel, but I won't say my that they they you know they bitches. You know what I mean? Uh, because if we have gotten shot, stabbed, uh, lost homies to this, like how am I gonna say that they bitches? You know, I could say fuck them. You know, but at the same time, we can't be lying either. You know what I mean? Uh, let's not act like like they don't be doing nothing, you know, because then how did the homie pass away? You know what I mean? It's not like giving them credit or nothing like that. It's just like, if we're going to be 100, let's keep it 100. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's not play these, these, these little kid games. Um, because at the end of the day, you bragging like you like you you guys think you're untouchable and you know when somebody thinks they're untouchable guess so what happens they get touched <laughs> you know what i mean um the ones that survive is the ones that respect their enemies you know what i mean they know what they're made out of so they're not gonna be like ah these fools ain't nothing then they come and you really start believing that they ain't nothing and guess what happens they end up being something 
Um, you never know what's going to happen in the field. Um, she, she'd be crazy. Uh, you know what I mean? But it, it's not saying that one side is more dangerous than the other or whatever. It, it, it's it's an equal field, you know. Um, I, I guess people believe the stories that they see just because, what, the Vatos Locos got... Uh, they smashed on tres puntos, or what? <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? Like, come on now, they, it should be cracking on both sides. As a matter of fact, in that movie, it did show that they they rolled up on Crucito and then they rolled up on Spider. Like, you see what I mean? Like, both sides be doing, be cracking it off. So, nah, I don't even know where they get these ideas from. C- clearly, couldn't even be the movies. <laughs> you know what I mean? Fuck, no mames. Yeah, uh, but that's what it is, you know. Um, the you you got to be able to understand uh, the game, you know what I mean? Um, to really be thinking that your enemies is soft or they win. Here's another thing that people do. <laughs> and homie mentioned this in his video. Let's say you let's say you pass by uh, somebody's neighborhood right now. If you go right now, you pass by uh, anybody's hood. Let's just say anybody. It doesn't even matter which barrio. You don't pass by. You don't see nothing. Or then all of a sudden you get to go on the internet and say, Ain't nobody out there. Nothing. What if they want to go to the store to get some pistol? What if they want to go take a league? What if they're at a homie's backyard boogie and then after they rolled up? You ain't knowing. Unless you're there 24-7. you there 24-7. If you're there 24-7, then you're going to say they ain't there. You ain't there not 24-7. And that's the thing. They run the whole entire block. So let's say you're 24-7 on... On street A, but these guys are posted in street C, so you can't see all the way from street A to street C. So how do you know that they ain't there? <laughs> Only the ones that know what it is, the ones part of this life, will know what will be cracking. Um, because guess what? Just like how you're saying that they're not posted, they're going to tell me that you guys ain't posted. So whose story should I believe? You guys got killers? They got killers too. You got writers? They got writers. They got snitches? You got snitches. Which, sto- which side do I believe? It's not my. It's not me to believe either side. You know that's on them to know what will be cracking between their neighbors and nobody else's. That's why I think it's odd when people are on here try to be convincing people that they like, like. Who cares? Let them believe whatever the hell they want. Who cares if they say that we're not posted? It doesn't matter. If you know we are, then what the fuck? Why are you arguing with them for, homie? <laughs> uh, dig, if you know we smash on the enemies, dig, why are you arguing with these people that have nothing to do with nothing? Why are you trying to convince them so badly? For what? For the huraka here? And they really come and roll up on us? For them to go and tell law enforcement? For what? I, I don't understand. What are you going to get out of them believing that, oh yeah, these they supposed to go and put in work. Is you gonna get like a hundred dollars or golden stars gonna come from the sky? Like, well, what's gonna happen? Well, they're gonna think you're crazy. You're never gonna see that person, probably. Most likely not. So, what did it matter? Uh, people are odd, and you know, like, I never under, I don't understand people sometimes. But I, I guess it is what it is. You know what I mean? Um. You know, like when people be saying like, oh, these neighborhoods ain't around, or these neighborhoods dead, or this people don't know what he's talking about, because they know. The, the people that know everything, they have the answers to it all. They know what happens to everywhere. Uh, they know the real story about Avaro. They have the real story, even though no homie really has the real story. Because you talk to any of your big homies, they all going to tell you different versions of the story or how it happened. Because when you're on the block, you know when shit be popping off, it happens quick. Uh, people, homies are on drugs, homies are pedos. You know, all our versions of the tales are different. Some homies kick it on this street, some homies kick it on that street, some homies kick it at the parque, some homies kick it at homeboys pass, some homies kick it over here by the alley. Where do homies actually kick it at? You know what I mean? You know, the older homies are already older. This, this homie said it started in 60, homie said right here 50, homie over here said 80. The all the older homies, which homie do I believe? Oh, but you got the real story, even though we're all from Barros, and even if you ask homies, they ain't even really gonna know. But you, you have the answer. 
I say más o menos. And I could only tell you guys what I'm told from this side. If they tell you differently, then maybe it is so. You know what I mean? I could only speak on what I'm what I'm told by homies from those sides. You know? Even if you ask homies from my barrio, they won't tell you different versions of stories and years and stuff like that. That's just how it runs. Homies, you know, when we all out here, shit, be cracking at this madre and this drogas and this pisto. And man, homie, you gonna tell me you remember the, the details? Hey, what are you lying for, homie? <laughs> But, you know, I'm just saying, like, shit pops off everywhere. You know what I mean? Because I understand what homie was talking about. Because when homies be like, you're from from the Valle. Like, isn't it nice over there? Like, well, isn't it nice anywhere? Anywhere you go? You know what I mean? Um, Like, why? Like, it rains, like, knives where you live? or, (laughs) or, Or what? Just... Just like you get caught slipping in Compton, Watts, East LA, uh, you know, whatever you get, you get caught slipping in 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 Santa Rosa, Santa Jose, uh, uh, Beverly Hills, uh, uh, you know, wherever. People are like, "What Beverly Hills?" Well, you never know. Like, what if you right there shopping in Beverly Hills, and some people go to Beverly Hills to rob Beverly Hills, you know, because they got money, so they go over there to do their robberies. And they, you get shot in the crossfire of the robbery. You got smoked in Beverly Hills. What you want? She could crack anywhere. Let's not be ignorant. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Damn, shadow.